All right, so I came into the bird room to let all my birds out, and look what I saw. That's blood. It's coming from Willow's tail, so I'm going to have to grab her with a towel and check for probably a blood feather. Hopefully that's what it is, and pull it out. So I want to show you how I do that. All right, so unfortunately I'm going to have to check for the towel, which she's going to hate. Looks like she lost a lot of blood. Oh, I missed her. Darn, she got to be quick. And uh, if she's in a large cage, it's kind of hard. If she gets loose, I won't be able to catch her. Willow, Willow, it's for your own good. It's for your own good, baby. I know, I know, I know. Oh, I have to do this. I have to do this. Okay, there we go. All right. Okay, so I'm going to bring her into the washroom to do it so I got better lighting. All right, so I got her. I didn't even hear her freaking out. Or maybe she had night frights because we had fireworks last night. Mm -hmm. There you go. Look at that. All right, so what I'm going to do is just try to find, it must be a blood feather. And uh, it's okay. I know, sweetie. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. It's way up there. I'm going to have to wet her. So what I do is I wet them so that I can see which feather it is because I don't want to be pulling out just any feather. It might clot by itself as well. A little bit clotting right there. So it looks like there was dried blood and then fresh blood, which means it bled like twice. I can see a big like, clotting up there. The best thing is it, it does clot. I don't need to pull it, but the thing is when she starts like um, you know, moving around and flying around, it'll open again. And the thing is with fireworks time, it's not just one night. And people around here, they do fireworks. Last night when fireworks day is today, which is Canada Day here in Canada, and it's supposed to rain tonight, so they'll probably do it the next night. And the next night, sometimes people are lighting up fireworks for the whole week. And this is what happens. It affects your animals. My dogs are afraid, and she must have been frightened. Okay, I, I know. I'm sorry, baby. Looks like it's way up here. I'm hoping that's all that is. It looks kind of like clotted up. Let me just make sure that's cooler. Yeah, she looks worse with all the blood all over it, of course. But where is the actual thing? Unless she has like a growth. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. All right. Yeah, so I'm just wetting it. I'm cleaning it so I can see where the blood is coming from. It looks like maybe right here. This one. What's this right here? Oh, 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 that's the one. Okay, so there we go. So you can see right here the feather has broken and this is where it's bleeding from. So I'm gonna have to pull that unfortunately and because, you know, I don't want to have her to uh, bleed all the time, so I'm just gonna yank it pretty fast here. Let me just hold her up here. I'm using my hemostat. It's gonna hurt just for a brief second. There we go. All right, so look at that. So it just kind of broke like in the middle. I'm gonna have to check, just put that there. Let's just rinse her off and make sure there's no more. Fireworks, like fireworks are beautiful, but Honestly, for animals, even the wild animals, it affects them uh, so badly. When we are last night, they were doing fireworks, so we went out to look, and there was a poor little rabbit running around, like a wild rabbit, just running around frantically because he didn't know what to do with himself. Okay, Willow, come here, baby girl. I think that's it. Where are you? Okay, okay, it's okay. I know. Hello. Okay, you should be okay now. Yes. Wouldn't you are? I think that's it. So she'll just like, I had to want her to get away in the washroom. So she won't let me wrap her up. Oh my goodness, the towel's all dirty and wet. But you know what? Let me grab her because she's trying to bite. There we go. Here's her little face. 
Let's check the feather. All right, so where is it? This is the feather. It basically just, here you sit there, Willow. <laughs> it just broke, just kind of in the middle. So new feathers have blood in it. And if they break or bend and break, that's what happens. Um, they bleed because this actually is a new feather. If you look closely, you can see it's not fully grown. So it was a blood feather. Obviously, I can see that there's blood in it, but it's a new feather. All right, so I think she'll be okay. I'm going to put her in her cage and see what she does. All right, so I just had a better look at her, and I see there is another one that's just keeps bleeding a little bit. So I have to pull that. And there we go. That's that simple. And so it's not too bad, but it just keeps bleeding. So I decided to pull it out. So there's two of them. Now I'm going to let her rest because she's very highly stressed right now. Poor little baby. You okay? Yeah. Okay, let's take her. All right, so I'm just going to let her sit in her cage for a bit and let her dry up and then I'll let her out. She smells all wet. She's all wet, so she probably can't fly. Uh, you okay? Yeah, she's stressy. Her wings are apart from her her body and um, yeah, and she's panting a little bit, but she'll be fine. That was a lot of blood, so now I'm going to have to clean it up. A lot of blood. All right, so take care of your birds and always check for blood feathers if they're broken. Take your bird to the vet if you don't know how to pull a blood feather. It's very serious, especially on the wing. You really got to be careful if you pull it and you don't hold the wing properly, you could break the wing. Um, so just use a lot of caution and use caution on firework nights. Um, yeah, it's, I don't know what you can really do for fireworks. I mean, you can play music. I guess when my birds were sleeping, they play fireworks here at midnight and they were already sleeping. So I didn't have music on for them. But uh, what I'm gonna do tonight, actually this is probably a good idea. I have an air filter, which is, you know, white noise. And I'm gonna leave that on because hopefully that will drown out the sound of the fireworks. And uh, leave a night light on and all that. Oh, Jingles is trying to console her. What are you doing, Jingles? Did she, did she get a boo-boo? Are you okay? Listen to him. Yeah, you're asking her how she is? She's okay, she'll be fine in a few minutes. Yeah, she's panting. Alright, you rest, rest a little bit, okay, baby?